to really go to uh, city councils where uh, development is under threat. And we had, a, we had a vote on that in Huntington Beach, and it was defeated, so we have a de facto moratorium on building that uh, somehow needs to be overturned or another look taken at it. Um, a moratorium on what? On building more housing? On, on building. We had, uh, just for you, for the listener's sake, the, we had a Beach Edinger Quarter specific plan which rezoned uh, Beach Boulevard and Edinger in pockets. and which, which had actually gone through a system, right? I mean, it had been through hearings and the Planning Commission and gotten adopted by the council. It had gone through the usual devices that government has to make sure it got screened and that the people had a ch- chance to weigh in. So I want to mm-hmm. give the background for yeah, it. Yeah, this was no surprise. There were numerous public hearings. It's, the genesis was around 2005, and it was adopted and approved in 2010. Right. And that in, in that process, the Environmental Impact Report, Support supported 6,400 housing units. The Which city, would have helped your, your city enormously in terms of this jobs housing balance we're talking about. That's for sure. And the city council was a little bit more prudent. They cut the number to 4,500 housing units. And we have 1,900 built to date that aren't even fully occupied. And uh, city council majority uh, buckled under pressure from a, a vocal, maybe minority, majority, I don't know, that said that we have enough already, irrespective of the data. So the adopted maximum allowed net development, or the MAND, was reduced from the already previously approved 4,500, which was a reduction of the previously environmentally approved 6,400, down to 2,100 to include one project that was largely in the pipeline. So less than a third of what had been originally planned through the process for five years and um, practically everything that had already been built. That's correct. And my number that I that, that Barbara Del Glaze, my, my colleague on the city council champion, was was 3,100, which isn't a magic number. It was to include all of the applicants that were in the pipeline. Gotcha. And, and we really pretty much are out of the low-hanging fruit as far as developable lots. Right. Now developers have to look for contiguous lots from willing sellers to assemble lots large enough to build on. So, And with 3,100 units, we also had a long list of, of changes. There were some, some apartment buildings that uh, residents didn't like. They were built too close to the curb. Maybe parking was inadequate. The buildings were too tall. So we had a long list of changes to incru- increase parking, increase the setbacks, terrace upper story roof lines, just to make it more visually a- appealing. Right. And, and they all popped up at once because of the uh, lack of money, the recession coming out of the recession. Sure. yeah. And their apartments, not condos, because of construction defect lawsuit issues. Yeah. And, and that's what the market is asking for. The market is asking for luxury apartment rentals, and right. that's what we built. Well, and, and, and that's an example, right, of sort of the conundrum that yeah. each of the cities face. And so your, your object as a committee, you said, is to go out and talk to each of the cities and to engage them on these issues and to have them have tools, I assume, that ACCOC How do you get develop. people, I'll be, uh, ask a difficult question, how do you get the public, though, that came to California for a lifestyle, Orange County for a lifestyle, and we love it, now just close the door and let's keep everybody else away? I got mine. How do you, keep, how do you show them the benefit and get them excited about growth and development when all they want to do is stop growth and because they see it as nothing but more problems they don't see the benefit well they've got theirs right well i got mine one of the things that i mentioned earlier is that you can have you can have organized um growth in your city you can have organized um growth in your city in a great nation like ours you can't let people do what they want it has to be coordinated. Or you can have unorganized um, in, infill that ends up populating homes and causing major traffic problems in areas where that street or that uh, driveway with a series of streets wasn't built for all of those, you know, 10 occupants in that home. Or you can constructively do it. The other thing is, is if people, people support economic development, economic growth, people want to live in a city that's economically viable sure. stand they want a good what, that, what that means because right. right. it doesn't happen magically it, it, it's it's just that old line you can either plan to fail or fail to plan and if we fail to plan people won't stop coming you know as we as we say all the time you're not going to neuter your constituents they're going to keep having families and they yeah. want them nearby well i tried to argue that if we built the 3100 housing units divided into our 60,000 existing housing units that's one half of one percent of all of our housing stock meaning 99.5 percent of Huntington Beach housing stock does not change right and you know we did a traffic study we showed that 2005 traffic was there were more cars at the Beach Edinger intersection 79,000 cars a day reduced to 72,000 in 2013 and Caltrans shows around in the 60,000 range 
Yeah. E- even with new residents. Yeah, and you're, you're not talking about massive intrusion of housing and that you're going to change the nature of your city. You're just talking about doing your fair share to keep up with the natural growth of a county that is, you know, is and, burgeoning. And your point is that if you say no and we're not going to add this housing, those people aren't all going to go somewhere else. No. They're just going no. to move in with their family right. or double stack houses and, and, and load up anyway. It's not yeah. like they're all just going to disappear. They're not they're not going away from Orange County. They're just causing more problems for the cities and, and we're delighted that you two are going to tackle that in your committee and, and take a look at it.